Freshdesk ticketing system tutorial. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll show you guys how you can manage your ticketing system using Freshdesk. So without wasting any time, let's jump right in. Now we all know about Freshworks and the wide array of products that they have to offer. From fresh service, fresh sales, fresh chat, and much more, we now have Freshdesk which allows us to manage our CRM or our customer relationships with ticketing systems. And ticketing systems are a major part of any type of business or company. With Freshworks' Freshdesk application or solution, you can actually manage everything in a more streamlined and effective way. Simply go on ahead and open up freshworks.com slash freshdesk and then click on try it free to get started. Now, once you click on try it free, you can go on ahead and provide your information and you can try the Freshworks Freshdesk application for free. So I am going to get started over here. And just like that, we will be logged on to our Freshdesk application. So firstly, they're going to ask you what type of industry you're from. So let's say we are from retail and e-commerce and currently it is just me and my support team. And then after that, I am already using customer service tools. Now, once we do that, we can proceed with the rest of our ticketing system. Now, you will see that this is going to be a sample dashboard. This can help you in learning all the features that are present on Freshdesk. So you will see on the left, you have tickets. Then you have contacts as well as companies. Then you also have solutions. Now, what is the purpose of solutions? A lot of people don't understand. Well, solutions are a general internal knowledge base that you can build. This can ensure that there is consistency as well as a really streamlined process for when your employees don't know something, don't know how to respond to a ticket, they can refer back to your own internal knowledge base and find solutions for a customer's issue. This can help you in setting up standard operating procedures, setting up a general quality control for the customer support that your team is going to be providing. Now, after that, you also have forms and forms allow you to see any activity within your team. So you can go on ahead and discuss, add topics and resolve tickets together. Then you also have a analytics tool that can help you in managing your company performance. The analytics tool on Freshdesk is actually really, really strong as compared to other tools. The reason for that is it can help you in building your own customized reports and it can also show you curated reports. So you can actually look at a particular um, person's performance, particular performance of ticketing that is happening, what type of tickets are being um, most frequently tagged or what type of issues are most easily resolved. Then you also can create private reports that are going to remain private and other people in your workspace are not going to have access to these reports. And then lastly, you also have shared reports. After that, you also have your administrator where you can manage all of your tools. Now, firstly, for setting up your own ticketing system, you want to add your team. So you can go into settings and then go into team. Once you go into team, you will see agents. So you can add your agents as well as groups, roles, as well as business hours, skills, and agent shift and statuses. Now, all of these are primarily going to already be determined by your company or the structure of your company. So simply go ahead and add a agent. You can click on new agent over here. Let's say this is going to be a support agent and this is a full-time agent. You can enter that person's email address like so. And then you can add their signature and then you can also add their role. So this is an agent. Then after that, we can choose their scope for ticket visibility. So whether they should be able to view all tickets, whether they can view tickets in a specific group, or whether they can view any tickets that are only assigned to them and not any other ticket. So for me, I want them to be able to view all tickets and I can choose a particular group that they are related to. So let's say they are related to billing issues. So I can click on create agent over here and now I have a secondary agent. You can add collaborators as well as deactivated agents for your team. Now, once you've done that, you can set up your groups. So groups can help you in making sure that the relevant people are dealing with the relevant customer query. 
So if a person has a issue regarding the product quality, a person from billing might not be as optimally trained as a person that has already dealt with customer care. This is going to be a really pivotal role that with larger teams can make a huge difference. After that, you can set restricted or fine-grained levels of access and privileges for agents. So you can customize these to your personal liking. Then you're going to define your business hours. So you can click on add business hours and I'm just going to add business hours and you can choose your time zone. So you can choose, you know, your particular hours and the days that you're working. Or if you are providing 24-7 customer support, you can save that as well. Now from here, you can go back into admin and you will see there's this section called Freddy. Freddy is a AI tool that Freshdesk provides you. And this helps you in deflecting frequently asked questions or frequently uh, made tickets can easily be resolved by Freddy. So you can click on this and you will see that it has a self-service bot and you also can enable Copilot with this to make it easier for you to answer. Now, after that, you also have channels so you can bring in queries from various sources as well as workflows that you can build. Now, in workflows, you're going to find your ticketing system, including your ticket field. So you can make it easier on your customer support agents by providing a detailed ticket. So whenever a customer is submitting a ticket, instead of submitting a really generalized ticket where they are going to not have a very specific idea so the support agent does not know what the ticket really even is about instead with providing a more detailed ticket field and multiple different categories you can make it easier for the ticketing system to categorize and redirect tickets then you also have ticketing forms where you can show the right forms to the customer depending on what they want to contact you about. So a customer that has an issue with billing issue, maybe they were charged more on their credit, is going to want to provide different information from a customer that wants to know how to build a part of your furniture that you're selling. So you guys can see there are two different reasons for these particular workflows. Now, once you have set all of this up, you can go back into tickets on the left and from here you can click on new and then you can create a new ticket as you go. So let's say your customer support receives a ticket. Now, some of these might be automated. You can automate your ticketing system by a lot. You can go into your settings over here and you will see in your settings, in your workflows, you can create custom ticket fields. And once you have created your ticket, you can import this or embed this ticketing system into your already existing site. However, if you are taking uh, live calls as well, you can just click on new, click on new ticket and your support agent can type in information. So they can type in the contact info. They can also um, type in their phone number, their status of their ticket. So this is pending and the priority is high. Let's say the group is billing. Let's say I'm the agent. And then we can add the description of what type of issue that this customer is facing. And this can be a great way to resolve customer issues with Freshdesk. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with Freshdesk's customer support and ticketing system. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.